Γεια σας και καλώς ήρθατε στο Euronews. Η Αλβανία έκανε επίσημη αίτηση για ένταξη στην Ευρωπαϊκή Ένωση το 2009 και έλαβε καθεστώ υποψήφια χώρα το 2014. Από τότε παλεύει να ολοκληρώσει τι μεταρρυθμίσει που είναι απαραίτητε για το ευρωπαϊκό κεκτημένο. Αν και η Ελλάδα υποστηρίζει διαχρονικά την ένταξη τη Αλβανία στην Ευρωπαϊκή Ένωση, η υπόθεση Μπελέρη έχει δημιουργήσει σύννεφα πάνω από τη σχέση τη Αθήνα με τα Τύρανα. Για όλα αυτά, συζητούμε με την Υφυπουργό Εξωτερικών τη Αλβανία, Άρτεμι Μάλο, κατά τη διάρκεια τη συζήτηση που διοργάνωσε σε το Ελία ΜΕΠ για την ένταξη των Δυτικών Βαλκανίων. Ms. Artemis Malo, thank you for joining us here in uh, Euronews. According to the latest uh, report by the European Commission for Albania, the ongoing accession negotiation uh, process needs now to be translated to EU-related uh, reforms. Um, where are you now? Uh, have you made any progress and in which areas are you focusing? First of all, thank you for having me here and uh, giving me the opportunity to express our progress and our long years effort. Albanian's government and all the team has been working consistently and rigorously during all the European process. An integration path has been a target and it's our aim for the future and the development of not only Albania but the region as a whole. Uh, there have been undertaken several reforms. I could mention all of them, but at least several reforms are very important and according to the roadmaps that we follow, the most important one is the law, is, is uh, the, the reform on the judicial system. It has been a rigorous and very difficult reform and the process has undertaken very serious steps starting even from the vetting uh, process of judges and prosecutor and the formation of uh, the, the special uh, structures for anti-corruption and uh, organized crime and the National Bureau of Investigation. These are structures that have helped a lot on changing the reform and giving transparency, giving enhancing uh, the independence of the structures and the judicial system and the rule of law has been one of the main focus of the Albanian government according of course to the European Union structures and the continuous uh, consultation and consolidation of all the steps in the strategy that we followed. There is, of course, economic development, there is a development and the reform on uh, public administration. We have now a new ministry that is uh, specialized and is focused only on administra public administration and anti-corruption. And, uh, of course, uh, the, the reforms on uh, economy and development, the reforms on human rights and minority rights, the reform on the, of the free of speech and the regulatory of the media and transparency and uh, independence of media. And of course, there are other main sectors such as environment and uh, the sectors of uh, human rights and uh, all the reforms that have been uh, under a serious uh, monitoring group of European Union now have, have started to come to, to the final part. And we are aiming and we hope to open the, the cluster, the fundamental cluster, which is the alpha to omega through all this process. And which are your plans for the completion of these uh, reforms? Do you have a certain timetable? We do. We, uh, first of all, we have our inner uh, strategy and our inner timetable in order to fulfill the datelines that we have put within our structures and within all the, the group of uh, integration and the ministry of uh, integration that we have in the government. But on the other hand, we have even other deadlines that we have to follow uh, that are given and are undertaken from the European Union. And very important part and very important deadline is within the, uh, the Parliament of the European Union uh, calendar, we have to to cross and to, to be accepted uh, within the second intergovernmental uh, conference. And on the other hand, uh, we are following the steps for the growth plan, which is very important for the whole region. Uh, Greece has been a staunch supporter of uh, the accession of the Western Balkans in general, Albania included, of course, but lately Athens has been uh, quite disappointed uh, with the Beleri case, as you know. Do you think this is a challenge to your country's European path? First of all, let me uh, declare, uh, proudly declare, that I am a Greek minority myself and uh, uh, this is my second mandate as Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs and uh, I am uh, uh, very proud that uh, my origin is Greek and uh, on the other hand, according to my official position and the name of the government, we acknowledge the, the Greek support as government and we're sure that our relations are going to be better and better in the coming uh, years. But, uh, this 
this case that you mentioned is in fact a case of the legal system. It has nothing to do with government decision. And uh, um, I feel very sorry because uh, Ms. Uh, Mr. Belleri is uh, a Greek minority, as I am as well, and uh, I, I don't uh, I don't know how to uh, to support him. But this is a case of, of uh, judicial uh, responsibility, and I feel that it's more independently judged than uh, in a general sense. I don't consider it as a national issue, not at all, because as I told you, we have so so many things to, to advance and to further on progress, not only of Albania, but the whole region in, in connection and interconnectivity with Greece. But the Albanian constitution has some uh, rules, has some laws. We are under monitoring of the implementation of these laws and uh, the, the, the law, the, the judicial system is doing their, their job uh, in, independently and transparently. Uh, and how do you think your country would be benefited uh, upon accession if entered the European Union? Which of, would be the benefits? Of course. My, uh, my country is, uh, is focused and is determined that there is no other alternative. European Union is our only alternative and the main focus for many decades. We have been working hardly to, to come to this point and hopefully we'll, uh, we'll enter soon. Uh, first of all, uh, the most important thing is uh, the economic development. Uh, within the Balkans because we have to start the enlargement of uh, the region uh, and next to, to be approach and uh, to be prone to, uh, to European Union. And uh, this is uh, also uh, very important for security matters and strategic matters, the strategic plan and growth. If we are within the European Union, it's going to be more consolidated. And of course, European Union funds we're going to have more impact to the funds for our uh, development, for our projects in the future. And as a result, even for interconnectivity with uh, all the states of, of the Balkans and the geopolitical position of Albania is very important in this case because it's going to be the lead uh, country for all the other countries and as a key factor to social, economic and political strategies. Good luck with your work and thank you very much for this discussion. Thank you, it's my pleasure.